I just realized editing this that this is probably going to be the last video taken at the old new the new old the new old Northwoods Park layout before they change it all to Northwoods Black and Northwoods OG Gold. So that's kind of sad. What's up everybody? We are back with another series. Not in the, the bad disc golfer, which obviously I'm still gonna continue because I'm still bad, but I've started to play tournaments this year. And this is about tournament prep that I did for Memorial Day uh, at Northwoods. Uh, we played the Blues and then Westwood, we played the Shorts. So here on hole one, I'm just trying to do an easy hyzer straight at those two trees and hopefully parking it like I did today. Um, this is one that I try to get yeah, eight out of 10 times I would like to, but obviously still not super consistent, um, but working on it and hopefully doing that most of the time. Here on hole two, uh, I don't get aggressive. I usually try to lay up to the top of this hill here so that I can uh, just shoot down like a forehand zone, a uh, little Anheuser, um, and then you know, flip like S curve down to the pin here. Uh, Got to get it in that landing zone first though, which I do not. Just came in a little uh, high and just flopped right down. Probably about 75 feet from the pin, which is not ideal, but still kind of have a shot to get down there. But I turn over his zone. Um, and honestly, this upshot I was really happy with to save my par because on the blues, uh, this is a par four instead of a par three like it is on the golds. So staying at one under, which I'm pretty uh, happy about. I'd like to be two under by now, but is what it is. Hole three here, I am just trying to get par. Uh, for me, it is a, uh, a straight to maybe an S curve forehand up to this zone about here, and then trying to have a backhand into this green. Uh, near the pin usually coming up a little bit short in this area here and then have a long putt over but today we are uh, going to be throwing it a little bit high <laughs> and knocking off of that tree and into the woods here so just kind of uh working on our scramble game uh prepping for this tournament uh the drone footage was taken uh, a while ago before all the green kind of grew up and um, that's the difference here. It's a, it, this course, it's difficult even without all the foliage, but with all the green, it makes it 10 times worse. Like if you go off the green, a, 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 a three foot window, what you used to have is now about five inches sometimes. So um, carding the bogey there on three and moving on to hole number four at even par, a straight tunnel shot. Par three, the blues uh, is kind of in the landing zone um, for the gold tee. So you just take one stroke off and you get the perfect spot. Not a bad throw to this. Uh, yeah, let's not worry about that one. My jump putting is uh, very little to be desired, but we're working on it. And I probably should have just done a, a forehand just up under the basket. I believe I was actually in the same spot in the tournament and that uh, went a lot better for me. Hole number five, a, a, a par really feels like a, a birdie for me on this one. I do try to do the backhand turnover to get to this just because the forehand is just so uh, aggressive to the right, um, but it doesn't really matter when you throw it straight at the ground. So not a great start on this hole, but now we're just trying to scramble for that bogey that kind of feels like a par and uh, a couple bad shots to get to this point, but the third shot ended up being real good, putting me right next to the basket in order to save that bogey. Uh, plus two is what we're at now after uh, a bogey bogey last couple of holes. Hole number six here is another must get in my opinion. It's a low ceiling, but you really, it's just a, a straight to hyzer throw. I throw a destroyer here and just it's one of my, it's my flip year one, 
and it just got a little bit away from me and went too far straight. That I was trying to run, but it hit that little tree branch and kind of stalled it out. So card another par there. On seven, the shorts are actually to the right over here. When I, when I did a little drone flying on this, I did it all from the longs, and this is one of the only ones that is not like directly behind the shorts. So the actual tee shot here you can see is the, the view from the shorts. Usually I'm trying to go underneath that tree closer to the trunk, but it got a little bit high, and that puts you about uh, 80, 80 feet out. Usually just a little hyzer forehand in and then easy par from there. Hole eight, par four. This one's had my number, but lately I've been kind of getting back at it. Uh, another little bit of a low ceiling, much worse when the foliage is there, but um, I really want to learn a roller for this hole at some point, just because I feel like it'd be super helpful. But today we're just going to rip a backhand and get a lucky kick off a tree here right to the middle of the fairway and then rip another backhand and get another kick off of <laughs> off of the tree for another uh, good spot for in uh, I think it was like a 25 to 30 foot putt for the birdie to get us back to plus one. My putting lately has been a little bit uh, subpar. Um, I've been going through some ups and downs with it, but uh, today was some good and some bad, so that was some good there. Nine is another must get. Easy forehand. Uh, I threw the Predator there. Usually I've been throwing the Felon, but it's uh, I lost my favorite one, and I haven't found one to replace it yet. So Ten, you really just want to throw a fairway driver or mid-range. Um, get to this point and push, and then go hard left because you don't want to be too far straight. Otherwise, you're in some bad stuff. But getting to the bottom of that hill is pretty crucial if you want any kind of look at the birdie here. And here I'm throwing uh, a newer felon that I'm not quite used to and uh, rip over on it a little bit and just kind of turns out on me. But like I said, if you're off to the right, um, it's just kind of pitch out land. Didn't pitch out far enough. So this is a Lucid X felon that is crazy overstable and get another nice kick off the tree to give myself a look at the par which just it didn't feel like a good putt and didn't come out that good so i get another bogey to bring me back to plus one to move on to number 11. this is another must get for me i would say i get this one nine out of ten times um it's just a emac truth flat that turns over or slight turnover i let it go a little bit early but get lucky in between the two trees and slide up long here to like a 30 33 foot uh look and am able to make that one that one felt really good that's some of the good putting of the day but um, i'll tell you now there's not too much of that uh, hole number 12 the shorts really just take away getting that perfect tee shot like you do on the golds uh, and just putting you in a good spot Usually what I'm doing is just laying up to the first landing zone here. Uh, I'm not trying to get on top of the hill just because most of the time you just get pinched up against the hill and that makes you really difficult. And either way, you have to just pitch up to the top of this uh, and hope for just a straight shot down the fairway up here. I leak a little left, um, so I try a little bit of a flex shot to get down there, uh, which lands me just outside the circle for a bit at it that I throw just a little bit long and card the par to stay at even, which is, you know, good for 12. Even from the shorts, that can be a little daunting. All this on the left on 13 is out of bounds. This one, uh, I have a little PTSD from uh, my first ever tournament that I played. Uh, I went OB twice and this was my last hole and I think I dropped quite a few spots. So since then, I've, I've still been trying to throw the forehand, but just seem to have it in my head that I'm gonna turn it over, and half the time, that's what I do. And today, I get the lucky kick back into the fairway. How about you? That's a fairway. From there, it's just trying to get the par. I don't think I can make it to the green from here, so I'm just backhanding up, maybe not quite as far as I wanted to get. Uh, a nice forehand that just uh, nicks another tree. I did get some good kicks today, so I can't complain with maybe one bad one. Give it a good run, just a little bit short. Uh, 
discarding a, another bogey to get the plus one. This is one of my favorite holes. Um, it's a difficult hole, but it's such a beautiful hole to throw. Downhill, 330, hole 14, James Conrad, ace hole. We all know it. Or I guess the one I'm remembering is him bouncing out, I think. Either way, fun shot. Uh, throwing the EMAC truth again. I probably should throw the buzz. I've just been um, hyzering out too early. Uh, but I guess I really ripped on the EMAC there, and it turned over on me. Try to give it a good bid, which I actually just twisted my ankle right before that putt, so I'm not feeling the best at this point, and just trying to power through. Get the par and move on to hole 15. I throw a backhand uh, flip up, uh, flex shot on this through the left gap, and sometimes it ends up good, and sometimes it ends up uh, like that. Um, I could kind of maybe put it on the ankle a little bit, but I'm not trying to make excuses. I let go of it early and bounced out of bounds off that tree. Threw up to this point, tried to make the bogey off the top and carded the double to put me to plus three. Uh, hole 16 is another one that you really should get. It's a par four, only 492. You just gotta put some, it's a wide open shot. You just put some power on a forehand or backhand, usually backhand for me. And then it's usually just an easy up shot. It's uh, not the friendliest green, just on the fact that it's on this big slope here. So I always try to be left of the basket, just on the fact that if you're on the right side, you have a downhill putt, which is really scary and will most likely run if you hit it off the basket or the top, so. Get honestly lucky right there with not getting a big roller away and carting the par. Hole 17, uh, 330 plays like, I want to say like 410 uphill. Um, man, I'm still trying to figure out what the best shot is. This uh, heat that I throw uh, on a hyzer flip has worked for me in the past, but I just grip block it a little bit, hit off the tree, end up in not a bad spot to be honest. If you end up on this left side, it's better than the right side. You have a little bit of opening uh, up high uh, to get inside the circle here and uh, just spit out left. Can't really putt it to that side. And that's why I got the bogey. Now a plus four. Hole 18, another just bomber shot. I just usually throw a backhand out to the middle of the fairway and then try to forehand up. I've this one has kind of had my numbers on so the fact that I haven't had too many birdies on it, but it's usually a par. I uh, flip over the the destroyer a little bit. This shot, oh man, I don't even know what I was thinking. It's one of those where you let it go and you don't even know why you threw what you threw. Even what I was trying to do, I shouldn't have done, but I should have thrown it with a completely different disc. Uh, leaves me in a bad situation to try to get the par where I throw it left side again and card the bogey to get to plus five. But the plus five in MA2, which is the division I'm playing right now, isn't too bad. I'd like to be closer to even, but 75% putting wasn't great. And that one penalty really, really wasn't a good timing and caused me to have the double bogey, so. Um, but my best round here is two under, 90% putting, and just a lot cleaner around. Not a whole lot of birdies, but just par, pars, and pars, and one bogey. That's what uh, allowed me to have a cleaner round like that. But I'm hoping to start making videos more frequently, whether it's the Bad Disc Golfer series or the Tournament Prep series. Um, just trying to get uh, content out, and honestly, it just helps me to film my rounds and see what I'm doing wrong. Um, I see a lot of um, progress from my first video to this video, just in my throwing form. I, it's still not perfect, but um, I like seeing the progress, which is nice. Like I said at the beginning of the video, this might be the last Northwoods like current setup 
uh, until they put in the other course, which they're putting in Northwoods Black, which is going to take some of the holes from what we played today, and then the rest is going to go back to the original Northwoods Gold with additional other holes. So when that happens, I plan on doing drone footage for both and doing videos on at least Northwood Black, if not Northwood OG. So keep an eye out for that, and we'll see you next time.